Hi everybody, it's Julie again. Okay, I have the Christmas paper uh, lot. Here it is. Uh, there is again about uh, two and a half inches to three inches of paper here. There's actually a total of 252 sheets of paper. Um, there's, uh, let's see, there's just lots of it here. And this also has the Valentine's paper um, that I want to destash as well. So there's Christmas and Valentine's, but the Valentine's honestly only makes up about, let's see, let me pull out the Valentine's. <laughs> So that you guys can tell it's almost all Christmas this is all the Valentine's paper here there's not very much of it um, the Christmas paper is really just a mix of uh, you know things that I had left over out of collections basically there's a lot of K and Company um, this is all K and Company I think right here and this is I'm not even I don't have any idea what the collections are because I pulled them out a while ago so this is just some of the um, papers from K and Company, and you guys will know better than me what collections they are. I guess I don't know because I don't have the the boxes or the covers anymore. I guess it's a really pretty one, um, but yeah. So there's one that has like the tags on it. I think a couple years ago I made pinwheels out of this paper for Christmas for like decorations, um, and then this is also K and Company too. But there's a lot of that, a lot of the Kane Company, and then this is like Paper Adventures or something. There's like kind of like a lot of miscellaneous brands, I guess. This is My Mind's Eye, but there's only one sheet of that. American Craft or American Crafts, I think, is that one. I don't know who this Flare designs. It's like vintage Christmas um, postcards. This is my mind's eye. I think this is from a, a, the paper, one of the paper pads from Hobby Lobby. So there's quite a bit of that too. And some of them, there is two sheets of some of this paper, two sheets of it each, because I had, um, you know, they were just ones that I didn't use out of the collection and I wasn't going to keep them. This is, I don't know what this is. It doesn't have a name on the back. So it's just kind of cutesy little Christmas paper, different colors. Um, this is all Studio G. I think there's like maybe 20 papers from the Studio G line here. This is all. This is this year's Studio G Christmas paper. And those are the ones. And then the rest of these are duplicates. I think there's three sheets of each. Uh, K and Company. This is like a Brenda Walton one. This is also K and Company. I think with the vintage Santas on it. You see, I should, I guess I should have looked the Paper Fever. These two, I don't, I don't know which one that one's from. This is pretty. This is Cane Company. I think all of this is Cane Company here. And then this stuff is um, KI Memories, I think. Some of that's KI Memories. And then some more Cane Company, lots of Cane Company. Um, this is Karen Foster here. This is like winter paper, snowflakes blues and then this has like definitions on it of like uh winter things some more of that blue that's all karen foster and then the rest or not the rest but there's uh, a lot of ki memories here it was like one of their collections one of their stacks or whatever that i had purchased the christmas paper and um this so this is all ki company here and a lot of this um can be used or not ki company ki memories can be used all year round. It doesn't have to be Christmas. There isn't anything that separates it from Christmas to non-Christmas. Um, besides, some of them have Christmas trees on it. I don't think any of them have words or anything. These could be flowers instead of snowflakes, you know. So there is a lot of that in here that could be used for other times of the year. Uh, paper Studio. Um, this again is, I think this is all the rest of this is my mind's eye. Um, like from one of the paper packs from Hobby Lobby. I think it's my mind's eye. I have a hard time remembering. It's just cute stuff, nice colors. This is the cardstock paper. There is quite a bit of cardstock too. Not just, um, you know, just not just pattern paper, some of it's cardstock. Okay, so there is 252 pieces of paper here. Um, 
I'm actually going to sell this lot for 10 cents a page, so it's going to be $25 uh, for that stack of paper. Um, it's the same as the basic gray kit. I cannot fit that in a medium rate or medium flat rate box. I it's just too much paper. Um, but I can send it parcel post if you're interested in that. Um, otherwise, it will have to go in a large flat rate box. So again, the what you need to do is just leave me a message down below telling me that you're interested in it and then send me a message on YouTube telling me where you're at and I'll get you a shipping quote. And again, these are first come first serve. All right, everybody have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.